Well, g'day, fishers. Welcome to our Tackle World Weekly Fishing Report. Oh, the weather, gee, up and down like an absolute yo-yo during the week was fantastic. If you managed to get a day off during the week, lucky me. Uh, and then you come to the weekend and we get these southerly winds and whatever else. In saying that though, looking at the forecast for Saturday, it's not too bad. Uh, I think if you're going to get out for a fish, it should be okay in the estuary, no worries at all. If you're planning to go on offshore, I think Saturday afternoon will be the go. It's only a light sou'easter, just depends how much swell comes up there. Um, but it should be okay if you're keen to go and brave it. But uh, plenty of fishing options over the weekend. Uh, the rocks will be okay. The beaches, you'll just have to find those protected southern corners and see how you go there. But all in all, look, it is uh, nearly Anzac Day and uh, we do get this type of weather. So we've had it pretty good for a while now. Anyway, moving on to the fishing. So this week inside the bay, plenty of young kids out there on the school holidays getting in amongst it. Even though it's been raining and miserable some days, they are being down the break wall and wherever else like drowned rats. So plenty of good fish as well. They've been nailing some absolute beauties. Uh, young Kay released a little mulloway off the break wall during the week. Uh, Lockie was throwing around a swim bait off Callout Beach there. Got a really nice dusky flathead, flathead, I should say. I think it was up near 80 centimetres. Same too, young Noah getting some really nice flatties. And young Kayo, well, he's a regular. He's been smashing some good fish too. So some great fish around. Kids have been nailing them inside the estuary, putting the adults to shame, I reckon. So estuary is on fire, especially those young fellas. Off the break wall, plenty of bonitos still about there. Some really nice brim at the moment off the break wall as well. So... And they're starting to congregate there. I think over the next month, the Bremen will really hit their straps. A few people asking about Ludrick a little bit early yet. I think it's uh, going to be end of May into June before the Ludrick really start to roll on in, that's for sure. Plenty of Bonito throughout the bay. So if you're in your, in your boat there, you can go and spin up a few Bonito. Just look for those uh, white turns there and you'll give away the Bonito. Plenty of tailor in between them as well. So lots of tailor uh, in the bay. Only smaller choppers, but there's the odd good tailor there if you're keen to do that. But uh, those small metal lures, are the go for spinning up those Bonito. Couple of long tails in the bay, wouldn't say there's many long tails, but uh, there are a few long tails about through the bay. And you wanna fish those incoming tide uh, if you're gonna chase the long tails, just keep your eye out for them at the moment. But it won't be far before those uh, long tails really get in the bay. Some nice mulloway around, spoke to uh, to Mick Morton here, he actually had a really nice mulloway, uh, a bit over a metre. There's a fly there, this time you ain't got flies. Must be just me. Uh, a really nice uh, mulloway in the bay. Uh, Paul Horn also fished the bay, got some nice mulloway. So some really nice mulloway in the bay. Just got to look at those tides. We are on the bigger tides with the new moon this week. Uh, but I reckon uh, if you get some fresh live baits and away you go, especially up around Soldiers Point there, Middle Island, Fane Cove, some nice mulloway about at the moment. Uh, further down in the bay, uh, there's some really nice whiting actually turned up on Shoal Bay Beach, believe it or not. So it is late, but there are some really nice whiting on Shoal Bay Beach. We sent some visitors there with some live worms. They did really well. Some nice fish, not massive, 35 centimetres or biggest, but uh, they did get um, a good eight really nice whiting off the beach there during the week. So worth a shot. The old garfish still off Shoal Bay Wharf. And if you can, throw a metal slug there, first light, last light, and you'll get some nice tailor off the wharf there as well. So all in all, bay fishing quite well. Uh, I think the weather this weekend will dictate that uh, the bay will be the place to go. Like I said, off the beaches during the week was really good. Some really nice travelling brims starting to get along the beaches at the moment, uh, especially on uh, Big Beach or Baruby Beach as we call it. And then uh, One Mile and Samurai, some really nice brim coming off there. A little bit hit and miss at, uh, at uh, Fingal, but there are a few nice fish at Fingal. A few tailors starting to turn up at Fingal as well. But like I said, this weekend I think the swell will come up a little bit. Those southern protected corners, like One Mile, uh, will fish pretty well for brim there as well. So definitely worth a shot. Some big tailor um, thereabouts. Oh, that fly fed income. Uh, some big tailor about. If you throw some garries in the washes there, you'll actually get some really, really nice uh, some tailor just on dark as well. Worth a mulloway fish. The mullet run is on. So those mulloway will be chasing those mullet schools. So definitely worth a shot on the mulloway. Throw some big plastics around or some fresh baits. And I think you'll do okay. Some good tides during the night this weekend. Uh, if you can brave that sort of bit of swell there, I think you'll catch a mulloway off the beach. Off the rocks, a few long tails around. Uh, we have heard of some long tails coming off Tomaree there. Shark's a bit of a problem as well this time of year. Some big whalers getting in amongst there, but a few long tails off Tomaree. Mac tuna there as well. If you're not interested in that, you can go and spin some tailor up. There's plenty of tail, like I said, in the washes. Box Beach there. Sun in the Box Beach will fish really well there too. Uh, bread and butter species. 
such as drama and a few broom around off the rocks, although the water is still pretty warm, you'll find there's a lot of broom in the washes. Like I said, those traveling fish up the beaches, they do get along the rocks there. So definitely worth a shot on the broom. And if that little bit of swell is there and you can get out of it, which you can in Port Stevens, there's lots of rock spots, be worth a snapper off the rocks as well. Some big kings being seen off the rocks. It is that time of year with the mullet run that big kings do hunt those mullet around the rock edges as well. So if you're keen on doing that, throwing some stick baits around or some big poppers, you might find a king around as well. On the offshore scene, some really nice fish around. I managed to get out uh, myself and my mate Dom. We, uh, we actually live baited for kings and cobia. We had a shot at long tails, caught some good long tails up around uh, Little Gibber there. And there's also some around the sisters, Fingal Point's also holding long tails. So managed a nice long tail during, there, uh, during the week as well. We also trolled some uh, liveys around for a cobia or a kingy, just around Big Island, managed a five kilo snapper. So there you go, mid-morning, nine o'clock in the morning, five kilo snapper. So uh, some good reds around. Uh, that was just a little bit unusual. I have done it before, but you do get that occasional good red. So seeing how live baiting the washers might be ideal. And I do think there will be cobia around, even though we didn't get one. Definitely worth a shot for a Kobe this time of year. Like I said before, some really good kings around, uh, especially up around Broughton, around the sisters there. Uh, we weighed one during the week that was just on 15 kilos. So some good kings around if you're live bait or stick bait, definitely worth a shot. Water is clear, plenty of gari schools around up the back of Broughton as well. So they'll hunt those and like I said, the mullet run as well. So definitely worth a shot. Uh, out in the deeper water, uh, plenty of trag around. So if you want to feed, plenty of trag around. So definitely worth a shot on the trag. Up on the big gibber, trag as well. There's actually a few pearlies caught off the big gibber this week. So uh, that was on Thursday, I believe. Some really nice pearlies caught up that way too. So that warmer water pushes those uh, types of species down the coast as well. Now on the fad, plenty of good dolphin fish on the fad. Not sure if you're going to get there. Maybe Saturday afternoon if you want to brave that little bit of southerly. You might get out there next week. Looks a little bit better. But still some really good dolphin fish. Uh, believe it or not, up to a metre on the fads at the moment. So definitely worth a shot there. I did hear of a couple of striped marlin caught on the shelf as well as a blue marlin for weekend detention, guys. So uh, might be worth a shot on the edge as well. That current has backed off looking at rip charts. Definitely worth a shot. Might be worth a shot at Allmark for a few kings this time of year if you're keen on doing a bit of jigging out there. Now that the current looks like it's backed off on the shelf, finally. There you go, end of April, the current finally backs off. Strange things are happening. Anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoy your maybe a long weekend if you're lucky enough to get the Monday off into Tuesday for Anzac Day. And yes, we will be open Anzac Day, so there you go. Anyway, all the best.